if I show you guys on the socials. Okay, yeah. I, none of my concern. Yeah, so if you guys can see on our story progress, everything is complete. Nine out of ten except this one. So let's get it done. You got some nerve showing up in our locker room. Not exactly. See, evolution and the hurt business don't really have an issue. Until now. What it comes down to is you chose the wrong side. And now that decision is going to cost you your Intercontinental Championship. Really? Who's going to take it from me? You? I could. But I've chosen to let Damien Priest do the honors. I'm not scared of Priest. Name the time and place, and I'll be there. Yep. Let's get to know each other a little bit. What I'm thinking is first, you have a non-title match against Theory. It'll give us a chance to pick apart all your weaknesses before the title match. I'll embarrass and it will give me the chance to embarrass more of your faction before I defend my title. So that works for me. Yes. All right, Locke. We'll see about all that. All right. So, uh, all we need to do is embarrass the living hell out of Austin Theory and uh, finish up this matchup. It's going to be as easy as that, you know, as easy as you like. So, yeah, should be fun. All right, what do you guys want? Gabe, you know the plan. I want you out there for Locke's match to make sure Evolution doesn't get involved. No problem. Hold up, do you really think that's necessary? I can handle myself, and if Evolution does get involved, then I'll be able to get some shots in on Orton and Priest. Don't see a problem there. I know that. Before we fall right into their plan, and they get some shots in on you before your title match against Priest. Come on. We need you fresh. Priorities, right? Gabe. You're going out there with them. Just trust me on this, okay? Come on, let's go. All right, seems I'm gonna have a babysitter today. Anyway, uh, that aside, let's go beat the living hell out of Austin Theory and make sure he regrets ever stepping in the ring with us because that's what we've been doing the entire time during this entire series we've been making superstars regret stepping in the ring with us a young star with plenty of accolades the youngest united states champion and the youngest money in the bank winner in wwe history the following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Randy Orton from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. All the potential in the world, but unfortunately, a bad attitude too. This guy has everything going for him, amazing physique, endless charisma, a surefire future main eventer. The future has become the now, Cole. Austin Theory is already primed for a main event in WWE. Saxton, get out of the way. You can't be in this selfie. The man destined to be top dog. It's the lock. And his opponent, accompanied by Gabriel Slade from Kenya, weighing in at 210 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Billy Ortiz. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. All right. All right let's destroy this dude, shall we? Like right now. Anything can happen tonight. That you can All get in that you can get war. back to our normal business. Uh, 
Alright, let's do this. The Intercontinental Champ has more than just his IC title with him tonight, as Gabriel Slade is in his corner. Makes you wonder, has MVP started losing trust in the lock, or is Gabe out here to keep an eye on the Viper? You wonder if Locke's asking the same questions. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Kicks to the face. Ooh. with a big one. Oh my god, the moonsault. Alright. Uh-oh, second row. Are you kidding me? Wow! Guys, that might have been the best move. Come on, Austin. Oh man. Come on, Austin. Spitting in the face of danger. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Theory's hopes are waning. A killer instinct from the rock. I love this finisher. And you know what's next, guys? Emphatically delivered. Locke has him staring at the lights. Into the ring again. Got to find a way back into the ring now. Before the count runs out. Excellent ring IQ to see the refs count and return to the ring in time. Oh, Lord. Moving into the wheelbarrow, up there. Boom, DDT. Cover. Whoa. Two count. No, he gets the shoulder up. How? How? All right, that's it. Come on, Austin. Oh, a layout, DDT. He's on his heels a bit now. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Good golly, what a knee. Oh lord. Psych. He moves just in time. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Man, this match has been. This match has been a joke. This match has been an absolute joke. I said absolute joke. Light up. That was kind of a butt kicking. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am. So Not that joke over much. This was as one-sided as it gets. Extremely one-sided. And yeah, so bring on Damien, please, so that I can whoop his ass as well. It's what I do best. I whoop people's asses. So bring on Damien, please. I need to destroy him as quickly as possible. All right, so what do you guys want? All right, let's talk strategy. Lock, I know you didn't want Gabe out there for your last match, but this is too big to risk anything. So I'm going to be in your corner to make sure the Hurt Business protects his assets, if you know what I'm saying. I can win without you, man. What's your deal? You think I can't win without your help? If you've forgotten, I was champion long before you recruited me. And another reminder, you're the one who said I was ready for prime time, but now I need protection? Which one is it? Mm -hmm. It's not about all that. Our goal in the Hurt Business is to hold championships, not lose them. And we do that by any means necessary. So I'm not saying you need me to win, but I'm going to be out there to make sure it happens. Because I know damn straight Evolution will be doing everything they can to take what's ours. Look, I realize they have numbers just like us, but I know I can handle myself. So I'm asking both of you to just stay in the back. No one's going to think any less of you if you have someone in your corner. Gabe's right. This isn't the time to prove a point. Gabe's going to say whatever he thinks you want to hear, but I'm not like that. Yes, we're part of a team, but I'm a future world champion, right? So I need to prove to you and myself that I can do this. That the Hurt Business isn't just a crutch propping me up. 
You said I was the CEO. So take the handcuffs off and let me make this call. Okay, you're right. I chose you for a reason and this is it. Good luck. We'll be watching. All right, so apparently, yeah, apparently we shall be getting to do this match on our own. So, uh, yeah, let's go to the match and destroy Damon Twist. He has no idea what's coming, what's coming towards him. Heck, maybe I have no idea what's coming towards me. I don't know, but if by any chance this is one of those matches that has a uh, specific objectives to fulfill then i am effed it won't matter what i do i won't win but if it's just a match that tells me to defeat them in priest or something then yeah it's gonna be easy ready to pass judgment the following contest is scheduled for one fall that is for the wwe intercontinental championship introducing the challenger representing the judgment day from new york new york weighing in at 249 pounds damien priest damien priest is such an oxymoron name the wwe universe no longer cares for the rest of the locker room because he has found his true family and the Judgment Day is their name. Multiple title reigns in his career already, but Priest wants even more. And there's nobody who can stand in his way. All right, let's go do this. WWE, the lock. And introducing the champion from Kenya, weighing in at 210 pounds, Billy Ortiz. This is it, guys. The title is up for grabs here. And this might be the most highly anticipated title defense in recent memory. I really hope it's not one of those matches that gives me specific objectives because you know a bullshit ending is gonna be at the end of it. And why am I so concerned? I'm the greatest thing in the boot. Time for me to destroy them. Right, Intercontinental Championship is a go. Championship, one of the most coveted titles in all of WWE. All right, time to do this. Let's do this, shall we? Welcome to an electric matchup here on Raw as the lock faces the toughest challenge he's had. Oh god, I have objectives. Good damn it. Damian Priest. And you better believe Randy Orton and Theory will try to slither into the action to tip the scales towards their man if they get the chance. But will the hurt business have the locks back if they do? Something tells me the answer will decide who walks away with the title tonight. Moonsault! Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Isolating the foot, the foot DDT. Oh, Damien. How does it feel to get dominated? On the second row. Insecurity out of the corner. The challenger eating up some damage. Good Lord. Priest is having problems here. This is where that calm of Priest will be tested. Oh my god, Moon Salt! 
How many have become so powerful? Alright, what's my next objective game? Climb to the top rope. Okay. Thank you for... The Red Brand has been going strong for nearly three decades and it's because of matchups like this one. The Monday Night Raw spotlight burns bright, people. Now I could not climb the top rope because I decided the game decided it was best for me to get distracted. But you know, pretty cool, I guess. Strike. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Stops the kick. Fly takes him down. Forget about it. Ooh, new champ. Shoulder up, and the referee ends the count. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Yikes. Nope. He must have seen that coming. It's that time. There we go. The champion is looking to take things to the air here. Psych. Priest has recovered and grabs a hold of him. The lock's trying to free himself. And he does, but the referee got taken out. Can the champion capitalize on this opening? Oh, Lord. Are the ones who are going to capitalize? Choke slam down to the mat. Damian Priest with the pin attempt. The referee's coming too. Of course. Of course. Oh, of course. Of course. The evolution of WWE has begun. Evolution was too much for the lock to handle. Of course. Where was the hurt business? And now Orton and Evolution are taking it to the former champion. And again, where is MVP and Gabriel Slade? Their teammate just got beat down. Let's not lose sight of the fact that we have a new Intercontinental Champion and Damian Priest, but I agree, there's definitely something off with the hurt business. Of course. Honestly speaking, not surprised. It was always bound to happen, but man, if this means I'm out of this stupid heart business, I'm all for it. Plus, if it means I'm done with the Intercontinental Championship, I'm also okay with it. They were just heading back towards your locker room. Hey, what the hell was that all about? Where were you? You told us to stay in the back. Remember? Yeah, I said stay in the back for the match. But then in case you missed it, Evolution attacked me after. I could have used some backup. This is private business. Do you mind? No, I want everyone to see this. What's your problem? Were you trying to send me some kind of message? Actually, we were on our way out to help you, but I got overruled. By who? Me. What? I've heard people say I'm a follower. Well, yeah, you are. That I lack killer instinct. That it's held me back my entire WWE career. <laughs> I'm done with all that. I made the call to stay in the back. I trusted you. We were teammates even before any of this hurt. No, we weren't. No, we weren't. Teammates? You've never cared about me or anyone else. Every decision you've made has been to benefit you and your career only. Well, yeah. It's the best the thing you can do for yourself. Stupidity with the new day was a wake-up call. And then your stubbornness against evolution only cemented who you are. It cost you your title, but that hurts all of us. So why should we go out of our way to help you? And maybe MVP was cool with you taking the lead, but I'm not. At least not as long as you continue to act like an entitled SOB. That's the only way to win. Just like always, you're just saying all this because you know it's what MVP wants to hear. No, I'm saying it because it's the truth. He's not wrong. I tried to let you do things on your own, and you failed repeatedly. What's next? You gonna bring the Hurt Business down with you? I can't let that happen. If we're being real, you lied to me from the start. You haven't delivered on any of your promises, especially not the one about making me WWE Champion. I well, think I can explain that one. Management decides more that. More like Gabe is the future world champion in the Hurt Business. Not you. Let's face it. You're not the lock. You're the weak link. I don't need you or the hurt business. Yeah. I never did. 
I'm better off on my own. I quit. Good. Clear your stuff out. I don't want to see your face again. Honestly, it was... It's about damn time. So, on the recap, at least now I'm not the Intercontinental Champion. I do not respect that championship at all. And I do not like the heart business either. So, you know. Win-win. And, uh... Officially leaving. Alright, so we've officially left. Yeah, so, yeah, we are done. I just want to get the story part of this done so that we can end it so, all. So, since we last caught up, you got into a fight with New Day over a video game cover, lost your Intercontinental Championship, and then quit the Hurt Business. String of bad luck, or all part of the plan? Part of the plan. Part of the plan. All part of the plan. You might be hearing MVP and Gabriel spin about how I was the weak link, but really, they were the dead weight. Which is Fucked. why I got rid of them. Fucked. I realized I didn't need to be a part of some retread faction to get ahead. Fucked. I'm bigger than that. I can win the WWE Championship on my own, and that's what I plan on doing. Fucked. Well, I certainly believe in you, but what's next? I know I'll become WWE Champion, but something has been off since I debuted. And it's been holding me back way more than the Hurt Business ever did. So, what's next? I'm going to confront this issue head on in front of the entire WWE universe. Oh, I love where this is going. I love where this is going. It's about time we get our due. It's it's boring being the Intercontinental Champion. It's boring being the tag champion. It's boring being the 24/7 champion. Man, give me the big one. Former Intercontinental Champion. I want champion, the big one. The Lock has requested this time to address the WWE universe. Now, he certainly has a lot to address. Let's be real. I haven't had the best run lately. Most notably, I lost a couple things. My Intercontinental Championship, and then my faction. But this wasn't how things were supposed to go, right? You all heard and saw the endless hype. I was brought in to WWE as the next big thing, a future world champion. And of course, the lock. It worked for a while. But let's be honest, it felt forced from day one. Box. Box. I never was truly comfortable with what I was asked to do. And when it comes down to it, these recent setbacks were just a result of those early decisions that were out of my hands and way above my pay grade. What I'm saying is, I was set up to fail by WWE management. And especially, VP of Talent Development, Shawn Michaels. I mean, me Shawn is good. With you. Shawn was behind all of this from the start, forcing one bad decision after another. Well done. So, HBK, I want you to come out here right now so we can talk man to man, face to face. Yeah. Strong words from the lock. Yeah, you better be careful here. And Shawn Michaels apparently has chosen to come out and respond to these claims. This is a situation that might be better handled off camera, behind closed doors, not in front of the entire WWE Universe. He doesn't look too happy to be put on the spot like this. I heard everything you said, and I'm willing to talk. But you know, this isn't the time or the place. This is exactly the time and place. I want everyone to hear how you've mishandled my career since the day I got here. Stop. Now. No. I've played by your rules, but I'm not going to trust the process any longer. From now on, I do what I want to do. That's what got me here in the first place. Fuck. My voice, my instinct, my talent. You and your corporate yes men have tried to stifle that every chance you got. I don't know if that's true, but okay. Okay. You really want to do this? 
We've heard your side of things. Here's mine, AKA the truth. All you've done is complain since day one, thinking you know everything. Like when you chose to drop your special lock entrance after one match. It was stupid though. You dropped your custom attire right afterwards. It was stupid though. You know how much time and money was invested in all of that? And you never gave any of it a fair shot. But there's no change in your mind because you're too stubborn to listen to people who actually know the ins and the outs of this business. The same people who tried to set you up for success, who wanted nothing but the best for you. Hold on. The best for me? Give me one example of something you did to help me. Come on, name one thing. Okay, let's get it all out there. When things weren't going as expected, I went to Randy Orton and MVP and convinced them to start factions to try to get you back on track. That's Ooh. how much we believed in you, that we were willing to stick our necks out for you. But I guess that's all stifling and setting you up for failure, right? Yeah, it is. You said they wanted me. Yeah, because I knew feeding your ego would be the only way to get you to agree to do it. Well, it worked. But even that didn't work. Because you couldn't learn to cooperate and quit. Throwing away an opportunity that everyone in the back would kill for. Well, except me. So I have one final thing to say to you. Don't you ever confuse potential with success. Because you might have all the potential in the world, but it doesn't mean anything if you can't get out of your own way. Stop complaining. Well, he does have a point. And do something for once. He does have a point, not gonna lie. You want me to do something? Is that what you want? Words being exchanged here. I'm talking to you. Show me some respect. Well done. Ooh. Sean just took a very awkward fall there and hit the steel steps hard on his Oh, we are so much in our villain era. Things just took a very bad and unexpected turn. I think we are definitely in our villain era. And it backfired. Officials, including Michael's good friend Triple H, have arrived to check on Sean. Probably best for him to just leave and let things cool down. Good damn. Did Sean Michaels just say he's fired? Oh, snap. I think I heard that too. Wow, I can't believe that just happened. Oh, damn. This has gotten way out of hand. We just hope Sean's okay. Okay, so... I did not think that's what was gonna happen, so... What now? Good lord, what? What now? So, WWE does not condone physical... Attacks, accidental or not, against his employees. Therefore, Bill Odis has been released from his contract immediately. Uh, WWE official Sean Michaels has suffered several injuries, but is expected to make a full recovery. Yikes. Anyway. Okay. Okay. Oh great, now everybody is dunking on us. Jesus Christ. Okay. Now we do not know how we are going to make rent, so let's see how we are going to be doing this. Uh, moving on forward, that is. So three months later, the W2K motion capture shoot. Okay, so it seems we are going to be doing a mock-up for W2K, but you know, it's fine. We need to make rent somehow, so we need to pay our bills somehow, so you know. Uh, it is not that surprising that we are gonna have to be doing some odd jobs here and there, here and there, and everywhere in order to try and 
uh, stay afloat because yeah we are out of a WWE contract it seems we've got a ton of moves to capture before our special guest arrives so let's get through this as quickly as possible okay let's start with the top rope move of a top rope move come on let's see what you got all right so it seems i'm gonna be working with wwe 2k on their mock-up the top rope move here we go and this guy decided to reverse because why not good they're such a hassle to deal with oh did i say that out loud my bad That's not a top drop move, okay. Fine. Top drop move. And reversed. Oh, it's a pleasure working with you, Cole. By the way, tell Buzz I said hi. Stop it. I'm actually fighting this guy instead of doing the objective because... I am the idiot that has this thing on uh, legend difficulty. Anyway, top rough move. Hey, lock. I know you. Finally. Time, Next. Uh, like mock up a here. submission attempt. I don't want to be here. I'm doing a mock up of a game that I'm not gonna be in. Anyway, uh, submission attempt. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Pretend Cole is Shawn Michaels. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Come on. I'm really gonna be doing that, pretending that he's Shawn. Dude, just stay down so that I can do this submission at the good lord. Okay. Friendly reminder to all town crew, please only use three squares of toilet paper. We have sensitive plumbing here. I can't believe I have to fight this guy this much just to get objectives done. Because he keeps reversing what I want to do. Oh god, he's reversed it again. Like, good lord. Stop it. Oh my god. Yikes. Could you just okay you know what i'm just gonna stun you that's gonna make it better for me to do a submission move there we go okay what's next okay i'm gonna cancel just make sure the match doesn't end we need to get more footage in attempt there we're gonna cancel what next all right taunt your opponent you're next now taunt the imaginary crowd Dude, I was taunting the cr Jesus Christ. Okay. I really don't like this guy. Making my hard my job harder than it needs to be. Alright. Front of the crowd next. Give me an Irish whip in any direction. I don't care. Okay. Next. All right, pick up a weapon and use it. Yo. Sorry, Cole. Okay, need some weapon footage. You need to get out of the ring. I really swear. I really swear. I really swear. You know what? Just do whatever you want. Why am I even here? Yeah, I'm, not, I'm actually gonna beat him. Oh, he's pissing me off. Okay. Uh, do I have a baseball bat? There we go. Really? Oh, my god. Cool queen. Dude, I am going to decimate you. Why am I in the ring again? Okay, dude. That's not nice. I'm trying, it's just that I have to deal with this idiot all the time. Ah. 
Good lord. I know it's weird with no audience, but I don't know. Pretend this is WrestleMania at the Performance Center. Sure. Yeah, he did a move thief on me. Nice. Real nice. Now could you stop it, you idiot? Making my life and my job at doing this harder than it needs to. You've already got enough footage of that move. Okay, baseball bat again. Yeah, and don't you dare do that to me again. Your best heavy combo. Okay. Bring yourself in here so that you can do a heavy combo. Oh, now you want to use a weapon. What oh, idiot. I'm quite on edge, dude, so... Yes, of course, of course, of course, of course. Of course. You look great. I mean, not really. No one can look good in a mocap suit, but your moves look great. Alright, now we have a heavy combo. Next. Okay, might as well get some more combo footage. Give me a light one. Alright, next. Well, we're here. Might as well get footage of a grab attack. Go nuts. Okay, so what's a grab attack? Is it that? Okay, next. Let's keep things simpler. Just damage the heck out of Cole. Nice. Again, sorry Cole. I am really okay with that. I have no issue with damaging this idiot. Hey Cole, remind me you're done to talk to you about this guy Baron Blade who keeps texting me for mocap work. Sure as a dodge. Good lord. Good lord. Okay. I'm going to do I need to dodge. Okay. I've actually done it. How about a dodge? Jason in gameplay keeps bugging me to get more reversal animations. Good. Execute a reversal so Jason will leave me alone. Okay. And now I have to wait for this guy to attack me to perform a reversal. Yo, Cole, we don't cut all day. Cool. Hello. There we go. There we go. Next. Hit a signature move while you're at it. Not sure. I have no issue with doing that. I hate this guy so much. Like so much. I gotta get booked on NBA. Dribble with your left hand, dribble with your right hand. Now shoot! So much easier than this. Well, yeah, it is, to be honest. Why am I climbing the top rope though? Imagine you're in a WWE ring in front of the entire WWE universe on Raw. Sorry, Locke. Too soon? Yeah, too soon. Oh god. Why? <laughs> Bring yourself back in here. I can destroy you. Bring me the hell off. The pace a bit. If we go into OT, I'm in hot water. You see me the hell off, man. Good lord. Alright, let's hit you with a signature. And I swear if you reverse it after Oh god, he did. I mean we won't use a large portion of it, but keep it up. I really hate this guy. I really hate this guy. 
it took me forever to build up that sick oh god okay 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 i'm done i am done i am actually done well, technically it's on 2K since I'm, I'm actually done. But it's a thought that counts. Ah, uh. I'm actually done. It's time to hit you with two finishers that you can stop pissing me off. Okay, now you're stunned. I can build up my. Taco Tuesday mocap lunch is always a bad idea. I need to build up a lot of i have to rebuild the finishers that i have to rebuild the signatures that i lost because of this idiot don't worry animation will fix all your mistakes i can't believe that i have to rebuild the signature bar because of you bloody idiot I swear. I fucking swear. I fucking swear. I fucking swear. I actually fucking swear. Screw you. And I mean it. Give me a finisher. Hurry it up. It's almost lunch. Get in here so they can destroy you. Bloody idiot. Oh god. I hate this guy so much. Like so much. Screw you. And I mean it. Alright, let's wrap this up soon. I just got word that our VIP guest has arrived. Yeah, let's get in the ring so they can destroy you. Is this done? Have we done? One, two. Of course. Of course you can kick out for some reason. in the world is this? Is that my old buddy, The Lock, doing mocap for WWE 2K? Well, yeah, we have to make rent. It wasn't that long ago when you thought you should be on the cover of the game, and now you're here pretending to be a WWE superstar? I have to make rent somehow. Talk about a fall from grace. This is amazing. What the hell are you doing here? Maybe you can't afford to watch premium live events anymore, but I just won this Money in the Bank briefcase. So I requested that my briefcase motions be captured accurately by me and not left to the interpretation of uncoordinated losers like yourself. Okay, that's not nice. The same uncoordinated loser who beat you repeatedly? Funny. Oh, and look, I even have WWE here to document the whole thing. Remember when you used to have a camera following you around? <laughs> the irony is off the charts. Hey, hope you're doing okay. I always believed in you. That's enough. You're here to film me, not speak to the extras. Okay, you, you can leave now. I need to shoot my part so I can fly to the next show, you know, the life of a busy, successful WWE superstar. All non-essential talent, please clear the ring. Thank you. All right, let's settle into a T-pose. Mocap ready, positions. Action on your briefcase victory scene. Oh. Great, excellent. Now up to the corner, please. Oh. 
Yes, I respect the pettiness. I respect the you pettiness completely. Huh? Answer me! Cut! Cut! That's enough! Where's security? Come on! Let's do this! Let's go! I should have sued you before, but now I am definitely going to. Let me go! This was assault, and it's all on camera! Get off of me! You haven't seen the last of me! Actually, I think we have! You're fired! Again! Bye! Sorry. Now how are we gonna make rent? Let's take a break, and we'll continue when you're ready. No! No break! Let's just do this! Make sure you cut all that out, okay? All right. Well, that's that. So, um, I do not know where we're gonna do this, but you know, uh, apparently we are now out of that W completely, and there's nothing we can do about it. So, oh man. Should we wake Tough. him up? Yeah, I think he's got enough beauty rest. Oh, Good lord. What the morning, sunshine. <sighs> What's going on here? Since you never return any of my messages or calls, I had to come see you in person. You flew all the way over from the UK? I couldn't just sit back and watch you throw your life away. And since you're impossible to reach, I got in touch with this lovely lady. Am I allowed to say that? Hmm, I'll allow it. Anyway, she's been following you around for the past six months and knew what was really going on with you more than anyone. We agreed you weren't in a good place and needed help. This really isn't necessary. I'm fine. Seriously. I've just hit a bit of a rough patch. All right. That's all. A rough patch is when you lose your keys, causing you to miss a blind date, and your cat gets sick. Of course, you find out the reason your cat's sick is because they swallowed your keys, but that's a personal experience, so we're getting off track. Point is, you've thrown away everything you worked so hard for. And then yesterday, you got fired from the mocap gig. Yeah, and I had my flight booked way before that. You've been a mess for a while. I didn't throw everything away. It was... complicated. <sighs> but if it gets you two to stop, I'll admit, I've had better days. Yep. More like better months. So you got knocked down at Pega 5. All that matters now is how you respond. And when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, there's a whole world of wrestling out there for you to build yourself back up, be everything I know you can be, and show WWE what they're missing. You're right. I've let things spiral out of control. I'm ready to get back on track. Great. And I'll be right there with you every step of the way. Really? Got nothing better to do. Okay. I'm confused, though. Why are you here, Kat? All right. I told you, I believed in you. And besides, I can't just start a project and leave it half finished, especially when it's going to have an awesome comeback story. And hey, even if you crash and burn, that'll be great too, for me and the doc, not necessarily for you. All right, All right. we're at an airport. Where to first? The loo, this coffee ran straight through me. Okay, so it seems like we are about to rebuild our career from the ground up once more. Which, I mean, yeah, I guess should be alright, maybe. I don't know. Alright, so story complete. One bad decision after another. We get everything according the mock-ups and even the studio. Now, first things first, upgrades. And now a good 93 overall, so... So, uh, okay, so if I decided to do evolution, this is what would have, okay, okay, I see, because I did not choose evolution, I was not able to do this story, ah, that's nice, that's interesting, anyway, uh, so we're gonna start with a lot to unpack and then the apex tournament and then of course we're gonna be doing some of this uh smaller stuff uh stealing the show is the main uh, story get that proceeds to the next story so until we get there we have nothing to worry about so um 
Let's begin, shall we? On my flight over here, I was thinking about how we met. You couldn't stand me. Said I should quit wrestling and go back to where I came from. Fuck. Well, I wasn't very helpful, was it? I was actually thinking of what happened after that. You wrestled on some shows I was promoting, and you were impressive as hell. However, there was one thing you always churned down. The that bartender seems... at the pub? You were constantly trying to set me up with her, but she was like 75. No, no, not that. I mean, I always refused to do a British rules match. And by the way, Amelia passed away last year. Oh, God, good soul. done. Those matches are super restrictive. Way too many rules for my style. I like to do my own thing. And how is that working out for you? I mean, as a lesson to be learned from working within a structure. Okay, Shawn Michaels. Look, I see what you're getting at, but I don't think you can relate to what happened to me in WWE. Really? When I was in WCW, they asked me to wear a stupid robe and wig and be the stereotypical blue blood British guy, and I refused. You know who they asked next? Triple H. He turned out okay, didn't he? Sometimes, you have to learn how to play within the system. And trust the process, right? Not what I was going to say, but sure. What I learned is, you can wear the wig for a bit and then you can always take it off. But at least, it gave it a fair shot. So what you say, we head over to the UK and you finally compete in a British rules match. Prove to me, you're ready to wear a wig. Sure. Alright. Give it a shot. Okay, fine. I'll give it a shot. At least I won't have to deal with any more awkward situations at the pub. Great. And by the way, Amelia's younger sister is the bartender now. I think you love her. Doesn't look a day over 72. Sure. Let's go get our flights before you say anything else that changes my mind. Alright, so a lot to unpack. Story confirmed. Rewards is we get the Club UK Arena. Right, so it seems that we are on our way to Leeds, England, and it seems like the only way we can do for now, at the very least, is compete in small promotions here and there as we try to rebuild our wrestling pedigree. How are you feeling? Do you knock off that pesky jet lag? Yeah, and I know British rules matches can be grueling, but I'm ready to give one a shot. I hope you're ready to give more than one shot. What do you mean? This is actually a British rules tournament, as in, you'll be competing in multiple British rules matches. I agreed to do one, not an entire tournament. I know you wouldn't have come over here if you found out you had to do more than one, but here's the thing. If you don't get your act together, you'll lose in the first round, and you won't have to worry about any subsequent matches, will you? Uh, I'm already regretting this. But um, I don't want to lose. Oi! Suck it up! You're gonna be fine. And besides, the crowd is already here. So there's no backing out now. Alright, let's go compete in our British Rules match, which I do not even know what. A British rules match entails. But anyway. Okay, Tavish isn't around. What'd you think of what he did to get you over here? Not surprised at all. Tavish means well, but he'll lie his butt off if he thinks a situation calls for it. Does the fact that this is a tournament change your approach? No, I don't do it. Now that I'm here, I'm not going to take the easy way out. If I have to compete in three of these British rules matches to win the tournament, then yeah. that's what I'm going to do. It could really help kickstart my comeback. This is awkward, but I wanted to seem cool. I honestly have no idea what a British rules style match is. It's been around forever here in the UK. The matches are two out of three falls, and there's no leaving the ring or top rope moves allowed. Got all that? Uh, yeah. D uh, definitely. Bottom line, it's going to be very tough to win this tournament, especially since it's all taking place in one night. 
Nonetheless, I'm just happy to be out of the WWE bubble, and no matter how it goes, I look forward to getting out there and being myself. No top rope moves. Ah, should be easy then. It means uh, no leaving the ring, two out of three falls, no top rope moves. Should be easy. Um, so um, let's see where we are performing. Uh, you guys have seen my entrance so many times. So I won't love I won't let you guys have to see my entrance all the time. Is what I'm trying to say. Oh man, the fall from grace. Good lord. Good lord. The fall from grace is insane. And you guys have seen my entrance so many times. Let's skip it. Let's see who we shall be facing. My clothing is glowing in the dark. I like it. I have no idea who this is. But he's our first opponent for the British rule style match. So, uh, what we shall be doing at, at first is we shall be beating him twice in one matchup. Could be easy. It's like a miniature version of an Iron Man match. Yeah, it should be like a miniature version of an Iron Man match. So, uh, yeah, let's see how this match will turn out for us, shall we? To defeat Adrian Buck in a two out of three falls. Under British rules, okay. Adrian Buck, nice to meet you. I wonder if I should give all my opponents a free win. Just to make it harder for myself. Yikes. How do you have a Dal Dal Day right here? I don't want to be associated with WWE ever again. Like ever, ever, ever again. Oh, beautiful. Uh, for those of you wondering why I could use the top rope in a springboard, that classified as a springboard attack. It's not a top rope. How, if I was to go to the turnbuckle and go to the top, however, now that would be classified as a top rope move. So yeah, we are still in the clear, boys. Oh, damn. Oh, Adrian, I am so sorry. It is not my intention to hurt you. I know you have a family. And a parent that actually wants you back home safe. In your wrestling promotions. But man, I'm so sorry. Come on, Adrian, take the knee. Come on, Adrian, take the knee. Oh no, you did not take the knee, Adrian. Oh, respect. Not bad, Adrian. Not bad. We're gonna need to do more, however, if you wanna match it up with me, though. Okay, you reversed both my finishers. Really? That's like a go to sleep sort of thing. Come here. Light work. Okay, Adrian, the fans seem to love our matchup. Okay. Okay, Adrian. I need to stop. 
who do not stand a chance at beating me again. Just so you know, you don't stand a chance at beating me. Okay. Hi, Adrian. Really? No break, ref. Ah. Psych. Stop it, man. Let's hit you the own finisher. Alright, we got the first fall. One more fall to go. Oh no, Adrian. You are so screwed. Wait, how did you turn from red to orange? How did that happen? It was just red a second ago. How did you turn to orange? <laughs> oh, Adrian. I am so sorry. Oh, oh victory. You gotta love it. There we go. We've won our first ever British Rules match. And to be honest, it was a good one. Adrian was quite tougher than expected. Quite tougher than what I expected him to be, to be honest. But yeah. Our first night back in the ring after our unceremonious ejection from WWE is a pretty good no that's not, that's not our first time in the ring after our ejection the first time was the mock of event that we absolutely did not handle well look who wore a wig <laughs> and you're gonna get to wear it some more okay it was actually fun was yeah bad, I guess actually kind of fun well your next opponent is gonna be tougher but the important part is that you're learning to get outside your comfort zone. And if you manage to win the match, even better. You have any kind of scouting report on this next guy? Oh, no, I didn't catch his last match. Some fans bought me a pipe. Nice blacks. So how did you know he's tougher then? Made it up. Seemed like a coach thing to say. Anyway, I'm headed back for another free round. Good luck. Oh, mm -hmm.